Hello everyone, I'm Adrija. Welcome back to my study room. In the previous video, we had we learned about chemical properties of metals and non-metals. Right? We started chemical properties of metals and non-metals. We learned about reaction with air. Right? How do metals and non-metals react with air? In this video, we're going to learn about reaction with water. How do metal and non-metals react with water? Okay. So first, let's start with metals. Metals they react vigorously with water. Okay. They react with water to form metal hydroxide. What? They react with water. Metals react with water to form metal hydroxide. Means a hydroxide of that metal and hydrogen gas. Example. I'm telling you with an example. Sodium. Sodium is a metal. Sodium reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. I'm telling you again, sodium reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. Sodium hydroxide is the hydroxide of sodium metal, right? So this is how metals react with water. And this hydroxide, this hydroxide are basic in nature. Okay, sodium hydroxide, it is basic in nature. And some, some metals like sodium, potassium, they react with cold water too and give out a lot of heat. Okay, they react with cold water and give out a lot of heat. And then another example is of magnesium. Unlike sodium and potassium, magnesium does not react vigorously with cold water. They react mildly with cold water, but they react vigorously with hot water. Okay, so magnesium, when they react with hot water, they form magnesium oxide. Yes, this forms magnesium oxide, not magnesium hydroxide. Okay, it forms magnesium oxide and hydrogen. Okay, I'm telling you again, magnesium, it reacts with hot water because it reacts mildly with cold water, right? It reacts vigorously with hot water. So magnesium reacts with hot water to form magnesium oxide and hydrogen. So this is how metals react with water. Another important point is sodium reacts vigorously with water and with oxygen too, right? We learned in the previous video that sodium reacts vigorously with oxygen. So, and it produces a lot of heat in that process, okay? So what happens? We store sodium in kerosene, okay? We store sodium in kerosene so that it does not come in contact with any air or water. And if it comes in contact with air and water, what will happen? It will react vigorously and will produce a lot of heat, right? So that's why sodium is stored in kerosene. Now here, another important point is some metals like tin, lead, copper, gold, silver, they do not react with water or steam, okay? These are exceptions. Most metals react with water, but some metals like tin, copper, lead, gold, silver, etc. These metals do not react with water or steam, okay? They do not react with water or steam. They are exceptions. So this was how metals react with water. Now let's move to how non-metals react with water. We have learned non-metals react with oxygen, right? We learned in the previous video that non-metal react with oxygen to form certain oxides. But when it comes to water, non-metals does not react with water. I'm repeating again, non-metals does not react with water, okay? And here an important point is phosphorus. Phosphorus is a non-metal, right? Phosphorus catches fire when it comes in contact with air. Phosphorus catches fire when it comes in contact with air. That's why it is stored in water because non-metals do not react with water. So if it is stored in water, nothing is going to happen. But if it comes in contact with air, then what will happen? It will catch fire, right? So that's why phosphorus is stored in water. Okay, so how does non-metal react? Non-metals does not react with water. And metals, they react with water to form hydroxide, metal hydroxide and hydrogen. Okay, so this was reaction with water. Now we are going to move to reaction with acids, dilute acids. Now we are going to move to dilute acids. Means how do metals react, metals and non-metals react with dilute acids? acids so first let's start with metal so how do metals react with dilute acid metals when they react with dilute hydrochloric acid form a metal chloride which is colorless okay a colorless metal chloride and bubbles of hydrogen gas i'm telling it again when metal 
react with the dilute hydrochloric acid they form a colorless metal chloride and bubbles of hydrogen gas example na sodium sodium is what sodium is a metal so sodium when it reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid it forms sodium chloride okay and hydrogen gas understood it's chloride right sodium so it will form sodium chloride aluminium so it will form aluminium chloride right so sodium when it reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid forms sodium chloride and hydrogen gas and aluminium when they react with dilute hydrochloric acid they form aluminium chloride and hydrogen gas okay these chlorides are colorless and the hydrogen gas how do we see them we see bubbles okay bubbles of hydrogen gas so these both are metals right so this was reaction of metals with dilute acids and there is another important point over here that the metals which are less reactive than hydrogen i repeat again the metals which are less reactive than hydrogen do not show any reaction with dilute acids dilute hydrochloric acid okay example copper silver gold etc these metals are less reactive than hydrogen okay so they cannot replace the hydrochloric acid okay so the, as they are less reactive than hydrogen that's why they cannot react with hydrochloric acid okay examples are copper gold silver etc okay so this was metals how metals react with dilute acids now non metals non metals generally do not react with dilute acid non metals generally don't react with them okay with the acids dilute acids so this was reaction with dilute acids now let's move to the reaction with bases now we're going to move to reaction with bases how do metals and non metals react with bases so first let, let's learn about metals metals do not generally react with bases okay most metals don't react with bases some metals like aluminum zinc lead these metals react with bases but with strong bases okay like sodium hydroxide some metals aluminum zinc lead etc these metals react with strong bases like sodium hydroxide in solutions of strong bases like sodium hydroxide and they form um, a certain salt of that metal and hydrogen gas okay most metals don't do not react with bases but some metals like aluminum zinc lead etc these metals react with strong bases like sodium hydroxide and they they form a certain salt of that metal and hydrogen gas okay otherwise the metals do not react with bases and they especially do not react with um weak bases like aluminum hydroxide etc okay so now non metals non metals do react with bases but they are very complex in nature the reactions are very complex in nature so we are going to learn about them in higher classes but still i am giving you an example example chlorine chlorine is a non metal right so what happens when chlorine reacts with a base um for example sodium hydroxide they form different products many products like sodium hypochlorite sodium chloride water okay so they are very complex in nature the reactions of non metals with base they are very complex in nature that's why we are not going to learn about them in class 8 we are going to learn about them in higher classes so this was for today and tomorrow we are going to learn about displacement reaction okay it's a very important it's a very important topic displacement reaction so this was reaction with base we learned about reaction with water reaction with acids reaction with base okay and in the next video we're going to learn about displacement reaction so stay tuned for the next video and if you like this video click on like button and to stay with me please click on subscribe button thank you